TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen because obviously needs to be warned. Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch any of their live streams. Usernames is at the bottom of the screen. That first one, that first username is also my X slash Twitter handle. Uh, lock in with me there, man. When I get to the UK, that's how you can communicate with me. Just tell me where to go. Tell me what the sightseeing about and things of that nature. We also got Patreon where we post five days a week. This is the weekend that changed England. Wesley Winter. Before we get into this video, before we get any farther, so shout out to Wesley. I went and checked my DMs because I seen that he added me on, on Instagram. I added him back. I checked my DMs and bro hit me up when he first started putting videos out back in May. I get so many DMs, I never seen it. It's sad. I never seen it. Never seen it. So, I mean, I, I asked, I, like, I, I hit him up. I told him congratulations on all your success. I gave him a little, a couple, you know, a couple little things he should do, like, on the back end, like, on the, uh, not Twitter, uh, not on YouTube, but, like, on the, on other platform type situations. And I, and I honestly asked him, I was like, um... Bro, how do you feel when, when you out here, when you the main character, when you in the mix of everything? He's like, bro, I, I really don't even feel like the main character. I'm not the main character. Salute to him. That's humility. Bro is humble. This is a humble gentleman. This is a, this is a humble gentleman. He said, I just want to make sure that I present both sides. Because I don't want people thinking that I'm too far this side or too far that side when I'm really just bringing... When I'm really just bringing the news, I'm just here on the on the on the ground floor. Bring, he didn't say this verbatim, but this is how I'm gonna say it. I'm just out here bringing it to the people. And he said I'm learning a lot from everybody, and I and he appreciates the everything that's everything that's going on and all the recent success that he's having. Bro got like two point something million views on the last video. This video currently sits at five hours out and it's two out two hundred and thirteen thousand. I salute that type of energy. I salute that type of energy, man. <sighs> Talk to me though. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Guys, I think this will get quite violent. There's... Whoa, we're not far right. Because if you're going to talk about the far right, then talk about the far left. I am a proud Muslim. Really, the real threat is straight white man. When one emigrant kill a Polish soldier, we can use proper gun. You're getting involved in something that you're not really ready for. Yeah, put that on TikTok. Oh, no. It all started from that. Oh, oh, snap. Where are we at today? Today, protests are happening all around England, and today, Nottingham, in Nottingham, England. After being falsely arrested by the police, I felt now more than ever it's important to show what's really going on. What are you doing? Disorder. What do you mean disorder, mate? What are you doing arresting me? This was crazy. I didn't even understand it. We literally was watching the entire thing, but he did. Wesley did nothing. Not everyone that comes here is a violent thug, which the media likes to show. Rather, they're people that care about the safety of their children and legal immigration. So today we're going to see what's really going on. Let's go. This footage was filmed on Saturday the 3rd of August around 3pm before the events in other cities escalated over the Third weekend. The purpose of this video is to provide an educational documentary on the events that occurred. I'm not against any race or religion, nor am I affiliated with any of the parties involved in the protests. We begin this two-part video in... Yeah, you gotta make it clear. You gotta make it clear. I also second that. I'm just here reacting. I'm here on the outside looking in. I, I, yes, I will say some things. But I'm not there. <laughs> but my comments are always open for people to vent. 
Nottingham, where stand up to racism and free Palestine protesters are counter protesting what Keir Starmer has referred to as far right thugs. Enjoy. So I'm just pulling up now to the town centre and a big, big turnout today here in Nottingham. You can see that's like the, the town hall or something. But a big, uh, a big turnout today. Wow. We've got a barrier of police officers, kind of similar to what we saw in London. Nowhere near the same numbers, but a lot of people. So right off back, I can see like the crowd is different. There's a heavily mixed crowd. There's not all just one type of person in this crowd. So, this should be interesting. It's a big divide. You see the police officers here, holding it all off. Let's see if we can chat to some of the people. It'll be quite hard to get in, but let's have a go. I'm just curious about the sign. Um, it says, not far right. Like, what makes you think they're far right? What makes you think they're not far right? I'm, I'm asking you. That's a far right gathering. If you turn your camera um, and you can see the, the English flags waving and you can hear what they're chanting. Right. So it's, 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 they were anti-immigration right. and they're anti and they're racist. Um, and now what I've heard is what I've been getting the comments and all of my section is patriotism. I've been hearing that. Oh, it's not patriot. It's not this. It's patriotism. And they're not against immigration, they're against the the undocumented portion of it. They're they're against the what did they say they said they're against the um there's no boundaries when it comes to it. People that are coming in the right way and people that are coming in the wrong way are getting treated equally and they don't. That's what I've heard. Is is holding the England flag racist, would you say? In this context, yes. Is it because... I don't think that's fair to say. The people that are holding it, that makes it racist. The people who are holding it and what they're shouting, yeah, and they're from the English Defence League, they're supporters of Nigel Farage and Tommy Robertson. Yeah, that, that, that makes it that. We've come down because we thought it was a... So now the English flag, like, I'm, just, I'm just putting the questions out there. Are we putting the English flag on the same, on the same playing field as the Confederate flag? When you see it, that's what you associate it with. I don't, I don't, I, but also I'm on the outside looking in. I don't think that's how, it, how, how it's viewed though. Uh, uh, a peaceful, passive vigil to show respect for the three men. But I can see why she says that though, on, on the same breath, because the United States flag is for everybody and the British flag is for everybody. And when you put up this, no, I don't, I don't see it. I tried to, I tried, I don't see it. <laughs> the children in Southport and these people turn up. What uh, uh, Palestine has got to do with this, I don't know. Maybe you should speak to them people. That's why they've turned up. Because they want to say, right, that this, these are right-wing thugs here. This looks like ordinary people to me, angry ordinary people. What about some that do come in the balaclavas and you know wear that sort where, of clothing? Where, where's your balaclavas here? Look round, I don't see any balaclavas. Go over behind the police lines, you'll see loads of balaclavas and loads of hoodies because that's what those cowards do. Pan your cameras round here, where's your balaclavas? There isn't any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put that on TikTok. Yeah, so I see you find this St George's flag. I was speaking to the other side just a minute ago. Yeah. They said people who wear it or associate with that are racist. What do you have to say to that? Well, firstly, this is our national flag. It is identifying of England. Right, right, right. And that's why I don't put it on the same playing field as the Confederate flag. It, 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 it doesn't equate in my mind. It don't equate. So how is it racist? That's my Keep question. Keep in mind, I'm reacting to the video that's presented in front of me. Nothing outside of the parameters of this. To them. If they find it racist, why are they even here? Like, why can't they just go to somewhere else that's not England? That's what I don't get. They call us racist and yet they're still here. Why do you think today is so divided? You mean, you got the police called enough. Why can't everyone just agree that legal migration is a problem and people are getting killed on our streets and we should just come together? Because you've got the establishment and the Labour Party who were backed by the World Economic Forum, I might add, 
advertising for this and pushing for it because they're not doing anything to stop the boats. They scrapped the Will Anders scheme, which would have failed anyway. You've got the Bibby stock on, which was scrapped because apparently it was inhumane or whatever bollocks. And, you know, they don't realise the more migrants to come in, what's it going to take before we're expected to house them? Because I bet for a fact they would not house them, but they expect us to. But we're the problem. They think that we are the so-called far right. I don't see anything far right about this protest. We've been mostly peaceful for the most part. What is the message today? We're fed up with having our country taken away from us. Is there a whole entire carnival going on at the same time? I've just seen people having a fun time. What is the message today? How about this, bro? Yeah, look in the top left corner. This is a fun time up here. Just we've been mostly what to do by people who don't even belong here. But, but the message gets lost when the other side call you racist and not. See, and that that like the way she it be the way it be the way stuff is framed. It's not what you say; it's how you say. Like she she came off crazy just now, in my opinion. I see. I mean, don't know what a narcissist and a racist. See is. that lad there? That's that black lad. Why he stood here? My he dad. Here. My dad. See what I'm saying? Before in the Second World War, he was a Polish veteran. He knew what real fascists were, what real racists were, and because of him and all the people that died, that lot have got a voice. If you want a picture of diverse Britain, there you go. Pan your cameras around. All colours, genders, ages. Not a hoodie or a balaclava inside. I'm not gonna lie, brother. That was a bad time to say pan the camera around because I, I, I. I, I hear what you're trying to say, but I don't see it at the same time. It wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look. It was a bad time to say pan the camera around. That's a, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Right. He's all yeah, these, look at these black lads here. They stood this side of your police column. Where's your racism? There. I think these protests initially are peaceful. That's what they they stand for but then eventually there are a few idiots who do ruin it unfortunately yeah. but i think a lot of them would say that they just care about their country mm -hmm. i care about my country as well i care that my country is a multicultural and, and welcoming country to immigrants i'm a daughter of a refugee look around you look at look at nottingham look how multicultural and diverse it is this is england this I, is nottingham. i think they're more against illegal immigrants though rather than just immigrants themselves right i right. mean yeah. Refugees, why do you think they're, they're, they're leaving their countries, risking their lives in boats? Some of them drown on the way here. It's a, it's a really desperate situation that leads somebody to do that. My family did that, my grandparents did that, my mother did that. Yeah. I, I know, I understand that, that desperation, that situation, and, and it is not trivial. It's not people moving here to steal our jobs or, um, I don't know, ruin our country, take our culture, overtake us, whatever they, they think the people are going to do. That's not what it's about. People are desperate. They're desperate. Why do, they th why do you think they come to England? Though? I do think some, some racist people are using this as... as it's just a vehicle to get their message to where it needs to be. And why didn't they stay in? But I do feel like a lot of people are out here for the right reasons on both sides. They really feel this in their heart. France or a European country, which some of them might say. You'd have to ask them. You'd have to ask the refugees themselves. Yeah, I, I can't speak for, for the people that come in the boats. What do you think the main issue is on the other side? What do you think their problem is? I think they're stupid and I think they want to hate and they're using things that have no relevance to this situation. Get her off the screen. Get her off the screen. She look good, but this is a, like this is not time for looks. Get out. Get out. I don't even like how you just... I think they... The issue is on the other side. What do you think their problem is? I think they're stupid. And... It's a solid... That's a solid point. I think they want to hate and they're using things that have no relevance to this situation to fuel their own agenda. Right. What do you think their views are on migration or in, just in general? Well, they're anti-immigration. They're racist. Is it anti-immigration or illegal immigration? What, what do you say? I don't think anybody's illegal. What? I, I hear this a lot. What makes refugees not illegal? Because people aren't illegal. Of course, but...
When they come into the country without passports, what, what, can we, what can you do about that? We can welcome them in. They're refugees, they're right. asylum seekers, they're fleeing right. persecution. But from what I heard, like, like I, I hear what she's saying, but from what I heard, people are coming in with passports. Not all. Granted, some people are really in, in, in desperate need. You know what I'm saying? But I heard some people are coming in with their passports, ripping their passports up, acting like they ain't have it, and, and doing X this, this and the third. Right. And how do you she was a terrible interview, whoever just sees this. What about the taxpayer having to pay for that? The taxpayer doesn't pay for that. Answer the enough question. Okay. Yeah, because you're, you're... Apparently the taxpayer doesn't pay for illegal immigrants. That's what the, the woman said. What's she your like, religious beliefs she, if you don't mind me? That was had to be the hands down worst street interview. Like she just gave herself the terriblest look I ever seen in life. I am a proud Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I saw in the news, I think it was in Sunderland the other night, yeah. people burning police stations as people trying to attack mosques. How yeah. do you feel about that? I feel I feel like it's, you know, it's appalling in terms of, you know, the British people. The British people, I've grown up with British people my whole life. And that's not what they stand for. Yeah, it's, it's indoctrination at its finest. And it's all of this, you know, this um, media influence. It's getting put on. Yeah, he's, he's speaking. He's speaking to people where they Hey, you know what? I just watched Silenced and he's saying the same stuff Tommy's saying. This media is putting out a false narrative and people are running with it. They're running with it. Where, you know, the minority groups are being demonized and it shouldn't really be happening. But yeah, that's where I stand on everything. You know, I feel like everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Point, both but it being should be demonized. done in a peaceful way. And it should be done in certain ways that, you know, allows everyone to get their point across. This dude's but in a way that, you know, um, benefits everyone. So everyone understands each other where everyone's coming from. So yeah. I mean, you're standing on this side at the moment, yeah. but do you feel that the, the Muslim community has been painted with the same brush? As in, what would you, uh, could you elaborate? As in, people are saying that Muslims are the problem at the minute. Like, yeah. is, that, is that the kind of feeling that in the Muslim community that like you're under attack almost by the yeah, British yeah, public? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I would say yeah. so because the, the light is being shone on us when at the end of the day, you know, Muslims do- You know what it is, man? I feel like the media is, <laughs> the media is, is pitting two different peoples against each other and they're going to cause a civil, they're causing civil unrest. It, the media is painting a picture of this for one side and the media is painting the exact same picture for the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. You contribute a lot to this country at the end of the day. You know, we have doctors. And when have I say the media, I mean the British media over there because that's, that's, that's the subject. This, and you know what? I feel like pe people have been, um, you know, manipulated and brainwashed. Their opinions have been changed to think that, you know, it's it's the immigrants' fault and this and that. What the what the EDO is supposed to be standing for is the illegal immigrants. Yeah. I agree with that. The illegal immigrants, the ones that aren't being filtered through and legally let through, they shouldn't be allowed because that's not allowed. Yeah. But then they they turn around and they point their fingers at those Muslims and those coloured people. And I complete. I feel that that's that's completely out of order and it shouldn't be happening at all. I've, I've, in this third, and in this first world country as well, Britain being one of the most advanced countries to date, they're not showing. They're not showing that, are they? What's your sign? Uh, I don't have a problem with immigration, but I do think we have an immigration problem. I mean, today there's loads of different people here, all different backgrounds, and yeah. yet they still call you guys racist. And I think the message gets lost. Yeah, I think there's extremism on both sides, and I think it's a very complicated matter. Oh yeah, she's good. I agree with her. I agree with her sign. I agree with her, what she's saying. I agree with everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, is it is today more political? Or is it just to remember the three girls? Oh, it's murder? more political. You can tell that on both sides. What I fear is that the anti-fascists are becoming quite fascist, and that's why I'm standing on this side of things today. And usually, I think I'd be on that side. So you change alliance today. Um, no, I'm ever changing. I'm ever changing. Uh, what, what I see, I'm trying to be objective about things, but people have got a problem with the Jewish settlements in Israel, with the mass migration that happened there. Uh, I know that there was the English and the French had a lot to do with it, but I feel that the same is happening on this side. A lot of mass migration, a lot of settlements, which is creating division and unrest. Yeah. I am pro-immigration as well. But at the end of the day, you know, um, illegal immigration is illegal immigration at the end of the day, you know. In America, yes, I am pro-immigration, 
my ancestors and everybody else who went through uh, prohibition and, and did this, that, and the third, we fought for everybody. For everybody to be here. So, I'm pro immigration. It is what it is. But also, like, the vetted portion of it. With everything that's going on at the moment, like, uh, there's too many mouths to feed, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they do need to concentrate on their own country at, at the Overpopulation. start. Before having to worry about, you know, uh, all of these, uh, you know, illegal immigrants. Fair enough, yeah, they have nowhere else to go. You know, war, famine, all of these other factors. But at the end of the day, it's a complex topic. Who the hell is this guy? This young man is well spoken, no cap. He's getting a great point across, 100%. And it's, it's. And, you know, I, I feel like I need to do myself more research on it to form an even more like based opinion. I just want to ask, why are you here today? I'm here to stop the uh, racist EDL and the fascists that are basically trying to conflate um, Islamophobia and their political rhetoric with the, the bodies of three dead murdered children which they do not care about. They don't actually care about them at all. Yeah. The people of Southport do. It's starting to get a bit violent, a bit heated now. I mean, what do you think is the point of all this today? Uh, the point is basically to, to be here really to stand up for against uh, the murder of children and actually against, um, basically against racist fascists who are now throwing bottles at us and uh, they're throwing cans at us as we speak. They're anti-white and uh, that's no good to us. What do you say they're calling you guys uh, Nazis and racists? What do you have to say to that? Oh, it's just propaganda, that's what it is. Like the Bajan food. They're kind of been antagonizing. It, looks, it does look like it could get violent, I'm not kidding. There's a few guys in Balakavas, I mean, coming here it should be peaceful. Oh, a bit of oh. has been thrown, water bottle's just been thrown. Wow. I think this will get quite violent. There's. Whoa! What's that? What's that now? The ball just flew from my ear. Bloody hell, I think things are getting thrown from both sides now. I mean, the other side are saying no violence, but each side is retaliating. And then, as I'm documenting this. I don't approve of any violence, you two. Most important thing is to stay safe. Don't condone it. I'm just covering the event today and just seeing what it's all about. What have you seen today? I seen we came down here and that like it's supposed to be for the three girls and that it's not really turned into that which is a bit disappointing. It looks like you've got these over here shouting who the f is Alan. Nobody knows who Alan is and it disappoints me a little bit. I'm here with my friend. I did hear um, that the gentleman, oh, no, no, not gentleman, that the, that the person who did the... The person who did, who unalived those three young women, R.I.P., before they even got a chance to live, I heard he was a soldier. He was, uh, he was a British citizen. I, I, that's what I've heard. I'm not, I, I didn't do no fact checking, but that's what I've, I heard. Black and white, can you unite? And we're just like, we're far right, far right thugs, partner. <laughs> yeah, the far right thugs. When I'm speaking to the other side, they're sure. talking about illegal immigration. You're talking about free Palestine. How does the two and two? Uh, because even ironically, Saint George was a Palestinian. So if anything, they should know their history. I know that Saint George had a Palestinian mother and a Macedonian father. So they should actually be for refugees. So they should actually be for immigration and integration. Britain was built on integration and immigration. Ever since William the Conqueror and Anglo-Saxons from even before that. I think a lot of them are for immigration. Whoa, fucking hell. I think a lot of them are for immigration. They, some of them just feel passionately that there's too much money being spent on, say, migrants coming in and putting them in their hotels when... Is this dude on a unicycle back here? Dude is tall as hell. This is the second time I've seen him. He's like seven feet tall. 
You have things like the NHS, yeah, the irony, which is suffering. That, that's fine, yeah. but I, we're all. Also, I'm, I'm, I've got my sister who works for the NHS. I work for the NHS, so I'm obviously I'm not against the NHS, okay. and I believe that the government is in control of that, not immigrants. So the government needs to spend money, that's public sector money, on those things like building more houses for refugees right. to house them properly, and not delay the processing and illegal. And need to have legal routes for um, refugees and immigrants rather than illegal ones. The only legal routes that were ever provided were for Ukrainians. And even that was very con uh, con controversial because even then people had to willingly put those people up. So even that was limited. So actually this country, particularly Nottingham down today, is a very good home for refugees and we stand in solidarity with them. Not against them and against the, we're against the bigotry of the far right, which is what they really represent. So they don't, they're not about unity, they're not about strength, they are about division and hatred. That's actually what they stand for. But why can't two sides just come together and double the amount of protesters and go to the government to actually take action rather than just fighting each other well we are doing that that's the point we do that as well anyway that's the thing so it's all right it's all right to uh, blame immigrants but that is actually a that's actually a distraction the real thing they should be concentrating is going to government I feel like so, I feel like both sides are being scapegoated to the other side I feel like people y'all I feel like they're being pitted against each other What is the saying? Together we stand, divided we fall. Like that's how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first got into anything UK, like I, I, it all seemed like love. It never was this. I ain't never seen this. This is. I, it was all love. It was all unity. Like I, I had never seen no piece of racism at all coming from this country. Like this is. I'm being dead ass. Even in the comments, you know, the comments on social media can get super hateful. I've never seen it until now. I see people in my comments on my lives and on, on premieres going crazy, and I and I don't really condone it. But like, I, what am I gonna say? Stop? No, I'm not gonna. It's just a lot of people got some pent up aggression, man. A lot of people, a lot of people can't think for themselves. Take a step back and think for themselves. It's just I don't know and going to their MPs. Nigel Farage campaigned online when he's an MP. He could have actually stood up and actually said something in Parliament. He's got that ability and he didn't do it. Well, I, I went, losing my voice. Fine, but I, I went to Downing Street the other day yeah. and people went to government and then all the media care about is this amount of arrests that occur. I mean, Say again, sorry. I said I went to Downing Street yeah. myself and all the media cared about after the protest was how many people were arrested and the message just That's true. Lost. So it depends on the media as well because it's, it's about sensationalism. So so certain media channels love sensation. That is the distraction. Ignore those two media channels. Online media channels are very di um, not representative of actual information a lot of the time. So really, everyone goes That's... on about uh, mainstream media, but a lot, of, a lot of media in general is is. You know what's crazy, bro? We just watched one of these about. We just watched Wesley like two days ago, and now all of a sudden, media, 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 media. After Tommy Robinson dropped this little film, I, I dropped this documentary. I've been telling people about the media. Like, stop it. <laughs> the media's the media's biggest mainstream media's biggest competition is the is the, is the common law abiding citizen who has a camera. You know what I'm saying? Because everything the mainstream media it says is going to be contradicted by people with a camera that's out here putting it on YouTube now. YouTube people get way more hits than mainstream media nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. We... we to be questioned. Basically, it's about being critically thinking and questioning what you're reading and seeing. And that's the problem of the whole protest in the first place. It was about disinformation spreading from America mainly. That's the irony. But it was, it was not about the girls suffering in Southport. The from America? When? <laughs> Sir, you might be right, but I, like I said, I don't watch no mainstream media, so you might be right, but when I pull up YouTube and I'm looking for videos like, 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 like this, all I see is UK mainstream media, media pushing, pushing whatever they want to push for views. 
murdered children in Southport at all. That's the thing, people are but seeing America a lot, but they're not too. hearing a lot. They're not listening to one another and what they actually have to say. And I think the media is partly to blame for that because they're not getting um, messages across. Um, I think that's true, but it depends on the media. And, and there's far-right media which aren't interested in that either. They want to conflate immigration with the issues of murdered children, which is not the same thing. It was actually a boy from Cardiff, a 17-year-old boy who was born in Cardiff. It was nothing to do with being a Muslim. It had nothing to do with him. That's what I had heard. That's what I had heard. Which contradicts a lot of people that was out there in the first video I watched. Immigration, and that's a conflation, and that's what these people are doing. They're conflating those issues, including right-wing media channels, and that's the problem. So that's why you've got people here, these are protesting on that, and that's fake news itself. I'll say something. Well, what is the reason for you guys being here today? I'm here just obviously represent the people, the British and the English people, and to say that it's not racist, it's not far right, I'm, fucking, I'm mixed race at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm here, I'm representing. Does that mean that I'm racist? Does that mean that I'm a non-existent EDL person? No, I'm not. I'm yeah, I gotta remember. I'm, I'm Irish, Nigerian, Native American. And I think German? Some other stuff. So half of my family came here on a boat. The other half, land was stripped from them. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's rough. I got it. I got an opinion on <laughs> Just here to represent simple as that. I'm not here for no violence. I'm not here to go and kick off I'm just simply here to represent the country. We just love our country. We, we, love, we, love, we, love, we love the country. That's it. You know what I mean, mate? I mean, why does it have to be like name calling and all that stuff? Why can't everyone just go to say Parliament Square and tackle the, the real issue, which is the government? Because nothing ever happens. I mean, I, I don't agree with all the all the stupidness and all the th name calling and stuff. I don't agree with that. But at the end of the day, it's like it's everything what we say gets gets it, it falls on deaf ears yeah. all the time. So what else is it, people the people supposed to do? Sit back and let it happen? It's ridiculous, mate. It's ridiculous that. They're My God, people who watch, who, who are here on this channel consistently already know when, they, when the people, when the higher ups in any documentary we watch, when the higher ups get to get on on camera and speaking, they, they all they do is waffle. They talk nonsense. They talk in circles. They don't ever get to the question that's being asked. It's this is it's not a surprise what he's saying. It's not a surprise that they're doing that. The end of the day, well, you know? What is the solution? Because you're just going to get more and more of this, this and at the end of the day, it's just a headline for the papers to say how well, many were arrested. Yeah I, yeah, I agree, yeah, but the solution is at some stage you've got to sit down and talk. But the government's got to do their bit, you know? They can't, they've got to stop letting people down, two tier policing, that's not working. At the end of the day, you know, you have to talk. There's got to be a time when you've got to talk. But at the moment, tempers are so high, everyone's that angry, it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to wait for it to simmer down a little bit, and then obviously from there, we should be okay. Oh, so you've got diff uh, pictures of different characters on there? Yes. Yeah, What's so the reason for it? So each of these men have been responsible for either the death or the abuse of women and girls. So whilst these people are here trying to protest uh, migration and immigrants as a threat to women and girls, really, the real threat is straight white men. Yeah, when you do look at crime, I I've said it as well on my channel that there's those of people that... So what he's saying, that this is just a smoke screen? Committing crimes and murders, white, you know, black, it's happening everywhere. What do you have to say about that? Uh, protesting like this. This is not a way to do it. Um, the better way to do it is like addressing the root cause of the problem, which is underfunding of like youth services, domestic violence support, and anything like that. Say it again. Causing the problem, which is underfunding of like youth services, domestic violence support, and it's an underfunding of white youth services. I feel like it should be like under underfunding of youth services in general. You know what I'm saying? When the youth get bored, they get diabolical. All of them. No matter what, <laughs> no matter what color. Anything like that. But I think both sides also, would also say that they're against crimes and murders themselves. I think you share similar views in some sense. 
Uh, potentially, potentially, but I think the real issue here is there's a level of racism that has been directed at people in this city. The majority of this crowd that's demonstrating against us aren't from Nottingham. They're about to get the train down to Leicester in an hour and do exactly the same there. So they're just on a tour of hatred. Right. Would you say they're all racist? Do you think there are there are uh, like some people there who just literally just care about you know the safety of their children, the, what's happened to their country, illegal immigration? If they cared about the safety of their children, they wouldn't come and protest outside the free beach that is put on for children here in Nottingham and make it an unsafe environment for them. What things were, were unsafe? Obviously there's big crowds, but what particularly was unsafe about? Well, if you've not seen it, we've had a load of projectiles thrown at us. Um, people have had Allen keys thrown at them, we've had bottles thrown at us, we've had eggs thrown at us. And the police, all they've done is just doubled the line here. Personally, I've seen both sides throw stuff, but there has been a bit of retaliation. Obviously, I don't know who started what, but I mean, tensions are rising from both sides. I don't think so. I think tensions are rising from over that side. Everyone here that I'm speaking to and hanging out no, it's both sides, buddy. Hanging out with is relatively chill and having a good time. Like, we're just here to make sure our city is safe. Yeah, we're just here to show solidarity. Yeah, I see your sign that says nothing against hate. Have you seen a lot of hate speech today? Uh, we've had stuff thrown at us. Uh, we've had some chants which are pretty aggressive. Um, we've had a few people in, uh, like infiltrating the crowd on our side trying to start some stuff. So, yeah, yeah a bit. <laughs> I mean, I don't really agree with the attack on Muslims, which I've seen a lot, but I think the main message is that they care about the children of their country and illegal immigration. Would you, would you say this side also agrees with that? Uh, I'm not one of them. This side also agrees with that? Uh, I'm not one of them, I'm just asking general questions. <laughs> anyway, go on. I'd say that they See, this is where me and Wesley different. Like, I, I, I wouldn't have the patience for that. He handled that very well. <laughs> Clearly, as you've seen throughout the country, these people are here to spread uh, hatred. They're here to damage publicly owned things, like the bricks being thrown at police, police cars set on fire. Like, there are better ways to go about this than the way that they're going about it. They could do it in a much better way. They're here to, they're here to fight, they're here to hate, and we're just standing up and telling them they're not welcome here, that's all. What makes you think they don't care about the children? Because they've co-opted uh, something, a tragedy, that is a real tragedy. Wait, why the hell, why is there a BLM sign? This not even, what, what, are, are we off subject? Facts, but are we off subject? This is the first time I've seen this, all right. For their own racist purpose. Right. If they cared, they wouldn't be here. They'd be trying to help the families who are now suffering and uh, and rightly need help. Right. So why are they here today, do you think? I. You can go and ask them that. You just told me off camera that you're not from here. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from Poland. How do you feel that a lot of the, the other side, I guess, if you want to call it that, say... To be honest, my daughter is blind, yes, and she doesn't see no one who's coming with a knife or with my chat, and I want my kid was safe on the streets, yes? That's it. So you're here for the safety of our children? Yes, because this was happened in the classroom when was the dance, and the guy come and kill the kids. This is too much. This is too much. I cannot comment this because, you know... It, it, it. She right, that is too much. It's disgusting, but when also people are violent here and throwing stuff, it's like we're, we're answering with violence. I mean, that isn't the answer, is it? This is not the answer with the violence, no. No. What do you think, what do you think needs to be done? If I need to be honest, I want the same to happen, what happened in my country, yes. Now, when one immigrant kill a Polish soldier, we can use proper gun and shoot them if something happened to Polish soldiers. So I Why we have to do this here? Why we cannot say borders here and a bloody sea? People just coming here and taking everything. Well, the average citizen in the UK cannot defend themselves against any anything, any type of aggression from a criminal. This is a well-known fact. A lot of th uh, things have happened in the past where this is banned, that is banned, you get caught with this, you get caught with that. And most law-abiding citizens in the UK are not willing to go down that road and even take those type of chances. But see, that's where stuff like this comes. I, I, I don't, 
R.I.P. to them kids, man. No. Yeah, so I see your sign that says protest pe peacefully, vote reform. Is that, is that kind of the message today? That's my message. I think that's the best way to change things. Yeah. What do you guys think so far, though? There's been bottles being thrown. It's getting a bit heated at the minute. Oh, yeah, it's going to. I think the, from what I can see, the bottles are coming from the other side. That's what I can see. I don't know if I'm correct in that or not. That's what I can see. Yeah. What do you think his actual message today, though, like coming here? There's been all sorts of stuff and loads of noise coming in the media, stuff about the government, stuff about people get the kids getting killed. Well, immigration isn't working for a start. When Keir Starmer had the chance to voice the people's concerns, all he did was point the finger at white people after saying he wasn't going to point the finger. That's why people are here. Everyone around the country's pissed off. It's about time he actually stood up and took accountability for, to, for what's going off and addressed the problem, but he won't. So yeah, you do get a few guys with the balaclavas. I don't know if they did cause trouble, but it just it just gives that it gives that impression. It should be a it should be a more peaceful protest. It kind of ruins it for the. That's the young boys, though. They don't even count. They just hear. People generally they don't count for what's going on in the the context of the video. We care about the country, the murders of children, and that's the message. If you if you read between the lines, a lot of the both sides share really similar views. But I told y'all I've never been to any type situation like this ever. Uh, when they do this type of stuff in Chicago, I stay in the house. I'm not going outside for this because once again, Chicago's a different place though than this. People get to shooting for no reason and doing this, that, and the third, and just being <laughs> diabolical. So. Those are bottles being thrown, so have to be careful, guys. Oh, 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 They're doing violence with violence. I feel like this can start to kick off in a minute. I want to stand back a bit so I get hit by a bottle. Yeah, no cap. Don't get hit by a bottle. I got hit in the head with a uh, with a champagne bottle. 40 ounces. It didn't hurt because <laughs> I didn't feel it because I was knocked out <laughs> for like two seconds. No, I don't think anybody wants to hear what I've got to say at the moment. We do, ma'am. I think they would. I think they, the older generations have seen a lot throughout the whole country. And what do you think about all this today and what England has come to? I'm sorry, but I don't want to speak about it at this moment in time. Okay. How do you feel? Are you happy or sad? She don't got nothing nice to say. She don't say it at all. I feel like about this or how does this make you feel? No, I think it's quite horrendous. Yeah. Um, but I must say that the people who are talking about anti-racism were here getting quite violent this morning, yeah. much prior to this happening. What is the best way to get the message across? Because it gets lost when there's violence and people are name-calling. It's just become political, hasn't it? No. Nice. And people on both sides are very emotive. Nice. Okay, so now there's a bit more of a barrier with the police and the public, as you can see here. We've got like two, two gaps now. So it should calm down after all the bottle throwing. But yeah, like I said, and some people have said already, all the name called and violence, the message gets lost. But luckily, I don't think there's any, been any arrests, so the message still should come about. Yeah. 
So mate, we're at the last event in London, obviously not as much police presence, but what have you made of it so far, especially with the, the policing that you've seen? It's not been too bad. Um, I'd say to start with, the police were facing just us, which of course is going to antagonise people. But with respect to the police so far, they've divided and faced both ways. Yeah. Um, it's been peaceful as well as hostile. There has been bottles thrown from both sides, but everybody's voicing their opinion. Um, yeah, no, it's been a good day so far, like I say. As long as it stays respectful and peaceful between both sides, that's what we all need to do. Yeah, I mean, we're at the London at the London protest, and I, I've been asking this to everyone. Do you think protests like this, they lose their message in a way, just by what happens, this is name-calling and a bit of violence? 100%, mate. We're here to support a message. There was people here, there still is people here, shouting for unity between the two sides. We should be here as one. Do I mean we're British people? If you're a good British citizen, you do not break our laws, you're welcome on our streets. But like I say, something has to be done for the state of this country. And the two sides against each other is exactly what this government want. Yeah, I think there's too many I think there's too many stereotypes on both sides. What is the solution thing. to bring people each each together? I mean where government putting each other putting each pit putting the community against each other. Like where should we be protesting to get this message? Parliament. The government is the problem. We need honest, open governance in this country. We need people to be well educated and yeah, we need the truth to be told. The government have to change now. are coming in. Someone's got a man in a headlock. Don't know what that's about. I have no idea what's going on. It started off with two people. Uh, this is getting a bit crazy. Here come them young boys and them body clavers. People are getting agitated. That's what I think about these protests when you uh, when violence occurs. The man just said someone tried to spray him with something, but when these protests happen and violence occurs, it just I think it just ruins it. I don't know who that was. It's got someone's wallet. Earlier on, I nearly had something chucked over my face and I had to take him down myself, but they let him through from the other side of here. The other side who were protesting against what I'm going against. They did it and they tried to do it. I had to take him down, but I found out that it was alcohol afterwards. But at that moment in time, I hear a lot about acid attacks anything. and it's yeah. pretty scary. That's what I thought it was. This is just two-tier policing. They're picking on us. They're protecting them and not protecting us. Is that enough? I mean, you just said that... You just said that something got thrown on you. Should these protests actually be happening in a city center though? I mean it's just a lot of stuff in the background that I'm noticing because I'm a reactionary channel. It's like, what are you what are you doing, ma'am? Why are you out here dressed like this? What what are you going to? It's not Saturday night. You trying to get chose out here at, at the riots? Golly. I ain't gonna lie, you 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 together, but I'm just saying, like, what? all right. Let's focus. Said that, <clears throat> you just said that something got thrown on you. Should these protests actually be happening in a city centre though? I mean, there's kids walking around. There's that, no, they there's shouldn't a... be happening. We should. The government should be looking at what's going on. This Aye. is just atrocious. The, 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 danger of, the dangers are here. The people have had enough. You can't just keep forcing people on us. We're running out of jobs, running out of bloody money, and we're running out of time. Yeah. What would be your message to the government and the people? You've got to sort this out now. Stop bloody giving money away to bloody foreign aid. Look at what's going on inside the country. You, you're doing us wrong and you keep blaming us as far right. We're not far right. Because if you're going to talk about the far right, then talk about the far left. Because the far left earlier tried to hurt me. End of story. Because he tried to chuck a bottle and I didn't know whether that was acid or alcohol. And I tell you what, it's one of the scariest moments of my life. And these lot let him through. And I'm sorry, but they know they let him through. And there's footage out there that's going to prove it. They're letting both sides through. I see it. It's like 50 cops and f f 
and 3,000 people. They let him walk straight through from that side. I'm sorry, mate. Look, it's okay, man. Do you the guys feel safe being here so far? I mean, you're standing quite far away from where it's all happening. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's because they started throwing throwing eggs and stuff over us here. Just yeah. missed my shoulder a little bit. Yeah. Um, but because we seem to have uh, got pushed back, the police got pushed towards us, I think. Yeah. So I've moved back a little bit to feel a bit safer. You work at this uh, playground, yeah. right? I'm just kind of like documenting the event today. I just want to ask how this has kind of affected you because it's, uh, I just want to get a different perspective from all of it. Would you mind saying a few words? Well, it's affected me because everyone wants to go home. They're, they're getting frightened by it all. Yeah. They've come out with the families and they're putting up with this. Yeah. How do you feel that they've done a process literally on the outside next to a kid's theme park in a way? It's just, what is it? It's a weekend and people are doing I think they should have it. found a field in the middle of somewhere and protested there, yeah. to be honest. Have you found, how, how do you... No, that's not going to happen, man. The, the point of a protest is go to the most populated, heavily dense place and, and disrupt. That's a protest, no matter if it's peaceful or not. That's what you, that's, that's the... That's the that's the premises of it. My intellect is coming out right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling sophisticated while I'm drinking this grape juice. What do you think the fam families have felt? I mean, regarding the safety of their children here. I mean, talking about safety of their children in Southport. I mean, it's not really safe for people throwing stuff, eh? I don't know. Everyone seems to be in a good mood. The families have come down and supported us and because they've said we're out for a family day out, but they are finding a different way to go home rather than go through that crowd. Yeah, so you think this should be done elsewhere, not in the middle of the town centre with the next to children? Center. Next to children, it's around. Yeah, I saw that you're here with your family. Obviously, I don't want to show your kids, but as a passerby, what do you think of all this, all this protesting? Um, I'm not even sure what the process is about, but whatever. Get her off the camera. Get her off the camera. I'm, we're done. Go get out. You're here for another reason. I get it. You living your best life. You 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 minding your business. Get off the camera. Ah, get off the camera. God, she just pissed me off. We're gonna entertain this. All right. Let me gather myself. I don't know what the protest. I get it. You mind your business. I'm not mad at that. I preach mind your business. This is not a. Um, I'm not even sure what the process is about, but whatever it's for, I'm sure it's for a good cause because there's quite a lot of people. Um, Shut up! But this side is a bit fun and games and whatnot. We've literally just noticed it as well. Yeah. Do you feel safe walking through? Like, do you think the general public... No, I don't. I'm definitely not going to go that way. I don't think there's even... Um, yeah, they kind of blocked yeah, it off with the police. Out, yeah, yeah. I just hope it doesn't get violent. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm, I, I don't know what it is about this lady that just made me this angry. I'm not mad at her for minding her business. I'm just mad at her for just being this clueless. How, what do you mean? You live here. Later on. Why am I just rushing from there trying to run off? I'm saying to you, no, why are you throwing something from there and fucking running off? Right. Huh? A bottle. You are a big man, innit? You are a big man. You're a big man. You're a big man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You're getting involved in something that you're not really ready for. You come on in. Yeah, take him away. Let's see what you're Hey, my man, I see you're quite angry. What was that all about? Huh? My man dashed something and then ran away. So I'm saying to you, why are you throwing things and then running? That's a pussy or movement. Stand your ground. If you're going to throw it, stand there with the people then. You've met. And you're, uh, 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 you can see the <laughs> Stop. And stop, sir. Stop. I was trying to be mad at the woman still. But you came through and you did that. And just, just changed my whole s scenario. All right. The camera then got blurry and all. All right. It's a cry, pussy. Do you think do you think there's two people in this protest who aren't involved who are just come here to cause trouble? Yes. Three more did it. Yes. 100%. That, that guy was a fine example. 
Yeah? Fuck that, I've seen too much already. Would you say on both sides or just one particular side? But what you drinking? It's both sides. Like, come on, man. Just like, come to an equation, come to um, some conclusion, sit down and talk. But where, can we, talk. where can we have these conversations? We were out in public throwing stuff at each other in the middle of Nottingham, shouting and screaming at each other. What is the answer? Where, what can be done? Big man. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would say that, but then when you, when you do that, then there's no, there's no law, there's no, no order. If we, if we bring it back to local, and the people make the decisions, which is why it, sh it should have always been that way. Yeah, there needs to be some kind of mediator to actually send the messages, right? Yeah, yeah. But what my point is, imagine if everybody in this crowd right now turned to one another and gave each other a big hug. Oh my God, the energy levels that would rise. Because we, if we learn to live without the segregation and the division that is being put on us and has been put on us for centuries. Yeah, and then I saw three guys earlier, literally, and a girl stood there, lined up with the masks on, hiding, and then just I threw. It with my own eyes, because I've actually seen it. Sorry. Because I've actually seen it, it's within my soul to question, no, why did you do that? I'm, I'm for the fact that you ran away, no. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. It's people here that don't give a f they don't care about what either side is talking about. They just want to see negativity. Who just wants to see negativity for fun? Yeah. It's crazy. Man talking it like if I'm dashing shit, yeah, I'm staying there. You've me. I'm not gonna fucking throw something as soon as it leave my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly what he did. So that's why I pulled him off. Yeah, I pulled him off. And you seen he couldn't. You seen he couldn't handle being put on the spot in salt. But is, isn't that what we need? Though we need more community cohesion. It's not about the police trying to enforce the law. The people should be doing it as well. Bro, it's not about the police trying to enforce the law. The people should be doing it as well. Bro, then was I on mute? I don't even know if I was on mute. I Everybody's too scared. Yeah. Everybody's too scared. Or, or, or what did it say? It's not on my doorstep, so I don't need to worry about it. Or, or, or it's not this, I don't need to watch nothing. Do you know one of them? So. I was, I was on mute. Damn. I wasn't on mute, was I? I was not on mute. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm in my 40s, I'm in my 40s, yeah, and I've heard the same shit all my life. <laughs> so you guys are here doing a candy store, I believe. How's, how's today affected your business? It's affected my business because um, everyone's too bothered about immigrants and race and all of this jib jab, throwing bottles, smashing stuff up, shouting, whatever. But the sweets here, why don't you just buy a sweet and call it a day? That's what I'd say. Yeah, but it's because Surely don't nobody give a damn about them little licorice ropes. Girl, you might as well close up shop and go home. You working in a hazardous environment. I hope they paying you double overtime, time and a half. And for hours, you think it should be like a half an hour protest and off you go? Or? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's going to carry on. I think it's, it's going to carry on though. Because it's been going on since one o'clock. Well, two o'clock. I mean, where else should these people be going if it's not here to protest? Where should they protest? Back at home. Stop, don't, just, yeah, just, or don't do it at all. I don't think it's an online thing. It's needed because it will just keep bringing more animosity to the, to everything. Do protests work, do you think? No, because it's going to, we're going to what, do this again in another couple of I do agree with her. Protests do not work. They do them, but they don't work. I ain't never seen a protest. I ain't never seen somebody come out of a government office and be like, all right, all right, stop. What you do? You, all right, we're going to check. It's never happened. It is. It's not going to work. It's not going to resolve anything. You can't bring back children that have died. You can't do nothing to change the world or nothing. It's, the world is going to keep getting worse and worse and worse because of things like this.
and the government. Where the noise, where the, the visual impact and I think those that can actually speak to the council and stuff like that, they will they will be able to push what we believe in, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. It's like solidarity, isn't it? With yeah, I think... It's all just cultures, all like, lot, yeah. If things don't happen straight away, then why... If you don't give it a try, then why... What is the point? Like, we've got voices, a free country, we should be able to stand up for what we want. Like, especially on this side, no one deserves to be, sh like, ostracised just because of their background or anything like that, you know? And She is high. Allegedly. I think these guys are absolute idiots. They're narrow-minded. They've got no lives. They probably just stay in the same little area and don't explore the world. So, how, like, they're, they're uncultured. They're disrespectful. So I saw, I saw your sign saying, save the beast. You got to remember, 90, like 90% 90 of the world is uncultured. They're only familiar with their environment. <laughs> that little ten percent that got a passport that be outside. Now you're at least America, like maybe in Europe, everybody got a pass. I think everybody got a passport in Europe. That's tough. I might be only speaking on America. No, nah, but the hood is the hood. The man them don't got no passport. I don't believe. What's the reason for you coming here today? Um, it's going to be a lot of people here, so a lot of people are going to see it. One of my boys got $40,000 deposited in his bank account. I had to tell him today. I had to tell him, bro, go get a passport. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Go get a passport so we can get up out of here. It's a bit of a light in a dark situation. Yeah. So I thought, you know, add a bit of humour, uh, something a bit different. And yeah, just to make a statement, really. Yeah, do you think this has gotten a bit too serious and people should just really come together and discuss it in it another way? Yeah, they should definitely come together. I think the EDL side, they've been a bit aggressive, throwing glass bottles and that. This side, they haven't really retaliated in the same way. Yeah. You know, these kids and women and old people, disabled people and everything, you know, it's like pretty disrespectful they want to preach about the country and protecting yeah. it i mean I, I said earlier it's literally like a fun fair across across the across the road yeah. i mean where should these protests be taking place and i don't think in the city center is the answer to be honest no but i mean i think somewhere like the forest recreation ground would be ideal but obviously the idea is to cause a scene that is that is the idea of a protest to, yeah. to stop the sitter and make as much of a scene as you can to be heard but the media won't even show this they'll just show someone being arrested on the i said that earlier that's that's the point of a protest i already floor or fight that's all they're going to show so what can we do well this is exactly what we can do because a younger generation don't watch the news so whether it goes on the news or not people like yourself and myself we're going to be putting on youtube it's free i'm not gonna lie if you about 30 37 and under you're not really watching the news i don't, I don't care what nobody say 37 if you 37 and you watching the news you doubt you dialed into something else higher <laughs> like you your job is intense what the hell like 37 and you gotta remember 37 is what 1987 you was born ain't nobody 87 and older watching the news i don't care what you say i just don't believe it for what for what you wake up 7 a.m put on the news your whole day is ruined like why would you do that freedom is speech it's freedom of information so it's entirely down to the vloggers people like yourself who are pointing it out there and educating people about what Facts. the real world is like oh fuck me god you make the eggs that's an egg you shit bastard you want to end up like this <laughs> okay so what, what's your reason for coming today uh so i just wanted to show my support for like no mate i'm just a journalist youtube journalist yeah yeah, yeah. Are you sure? hey i'm sure mate why do they keep coming there bro talking about edl what the hell I'm now, just, what's your reason for coming today? I just wanted to show out to, to say that hate has no place in our country. Yeah. And, uh, I, and I, I don't support, obviously, oh, the someone's just been arrested down there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's it, you know. I, don't, I think that they're full of hate. Caught him in 4K. Look, caught him in 4K. Look at dude back here. Look, look, 4K. Um, yeah, that's, that's... These be the people that be internet gangsters, 100%. No, one hundred percent. Throwing stuff, ducking, hiding. We'll be in the comments section talking diabolically. I already know it.
that's it, you know. I, don't, I think that they're full of hate, and and I, I, I wanted to come Look, trying to play it off with his arms folded. Bro, go home. Uh, and show my support for people yeah. that... That's the Jamaican dude you called him again? That believe that immigration is good for the country, that immigration isn't an issue in this country, and that um, we stand for the common good of all people. Yeah, but at the moment, all I've seen is people just throwing stuff back and forth. I mean, at the end of the day, it gets a bit childish. Is that Trap Lord Ross right here? <laughs> Rolling up is insane in 4K with, with how many people watching? A quarter million people see you. It's, the more it goes on, I, I think. Yeah, I disagree with anyone throwing anything. I've been shouting, like, stop throwing shit. Because there are, there are people on our side that are throwing eggs and stuff. Like, but the other side have thrown Corona bottles, like glass yeah. bottles and stuff. And, like, our friend has had to be taken to A&E. Right. Because she's hit in the head by a glass bottle. And, like, that's, that stuff is awful. And, and I'm kind of worried that they're going to want to actually riot later. Excuse me, yeah. sorry. So it's gone from bottles to, uh, to eggs on the floor. Look at that. Bloody hell. Brown eggs too. Them them, them, them uh, cage free eggs. They spend their money on them. That's rich people throwing them. Yeah, this is just getting a bit childish now. I think in general, I don't even know what's the point of being here now. The stuff getting thrown is getting a bit aggressive. All right, well, some violence kicking off on the other side. Eggs getting splattered everywhere. Somebody told me in the comments most of the eggs in the UK are brown. All right, my bad. <laughs> it's just the US that upcharged for cage free eggs. What? Are you. I'm, I'm telling you, once my daughter hit kindergarten, I'm really, I'm really contemplating now. <laughs> I see some eggs. I see what the. Sorry, just give me one moment. Nope, keep walking. Okay, the police are coming in. More enforcements. Okay, it's starting to get really heated now. The thing with this protest is that Nottingham has those of like alleyways that you can uh, easily get to the other side. You know what's crazy, man? The thing about, uh, the thing about this is, um, Wesley, like, this is what people are expecting of you now. You got to come with this intensity every time. Never let your foot off the gas. Never take a break. Never, <laughs> no. Never get comfortable. Continue this. You're on a great run. <laughs> you want to die? You you are on a top tier run right now. Don't you let up. <laughs> so I think the police are going to try to block it off. So yes, no lie. After this, you gotta find particular people and go interview them. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Tell me about your. Tell me about your. What is, what's the word I'm looking for? Tell me about your uh, participation in the protests or something. Pretty easy to get to that side from here, which they're blocking off there. People are always gonna expect this energy from you on YouTube. That's the thing. Once I started doing hour-long videos, that's all I was known for. And I couldn't stop. They wouldn't let, I, if I post an eight minute video, zero views, promise you. My bad. Yeah, yeah, what do you, what do you think about today? Um, I think it's really crazy what's happening, uh, even though I'm not sure what's happening exactly. Yeah. I don't know what the details are, but, uh, we're here for the action. <laughs> so you just come. So as a, as a bystander, do you feel safe in this environment? Um, not really, to be honest. Even though they're throwing eggs, they're not really harm harmful. But uh, yeah. But do you think? <laughs> but do you think? Do you think? Do you think protests like this, having violence and throwing eggs? Do you think there's any point? Nah, bro, over here in the cut, think this is light, buddy. <laughs> Quarter million people seeing this in five hours. You know, you feel me? Like. Mm, this this is real pressure you over here talking. 
You giggling and kiki kin. This is real pressure. You on big YouTube. My fault. I be having a whole. Wesley is humble. I I sometimes you gotta get up out that humble bag. In the protest, if that's all they're gonna do. Um, I think it's the idea that there is a protest. You know, I think uh, their presence is enough. But uh, anything that's uh, kind of additional, it's just for the show, you know? Yeah. I think uh, the presence is the most important thing. Well, so you think just the presence alone will send a message to the government, you think? Um, I don't think so. But um, it shows that people are willing to do something, you know, right. for a change. Even though it might act not actually change anything, you know? Mm. It's for awareness. So, so, like Palestine, if there weren't any process in London or anywhere else, then they wouldn't raise awareness about Palestine. Right. Yeah. But when the other side, they call it the sh talking about things like legal migration, do you think there's even a need for a free Palestine protest on the same, in the same area as no, what they're doing? No, that was just an example. Oh, yeah, yeah. But t today, do you, do you agree with that? That there's, I mean, there's two sides protesting about two different things? At the end of the day, in Palestine yes. has to do something with, with, the, with the immigration and the, and the refugees. Yeah. But that's a different matter than what's being spoken about today. Yeah. But, but 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 I mean we can't tell people not to talk about Palestine when there's a when right. there's a John, process going the on. Follow. Right, right. But you, what, what I'm trying to say is, don't you think that the, it should be done at like another time and place? Maybe I don't know. Maybe at like a, a government building, for example, or you know, because when two people, when two parties are protesting, yeah. the message just gets lost, isn't it? Because there's two people just shouting over each other about com two completely different things. They're what? not really. Uh, Here's my answer to the question. I think when you're right, you're right, 100%. A protest, people, two sides of a, of a conflict are outside, right? Nobody's getting heard. Nobody is getting heard. Nobody is. You're saying stuff, but nobody who needs to hear it is hearing you. You're just outside at this point to be outside. Not going to lie. Sure. Yeah. You're causing a disturbance to the natural flow of the day and people are going to take notice but not not enough notice to move like i said earlier nobody was like oh all right let's pull up on all the black vehicles and you win your protest has got it when has it ever happened i'm not saying you shouldn't get out there but I'm saying it, it's never, ever been the reason. Different things at the end of the day. It's, they're close matters, but they're it not the exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, but they're not right. completely different. Yeah. Palestine and, and the refugee thing is kind of close to what the protest is about today. Mm. How do you feel? It's almost like Muslims are being targeted at the moment in this country. I'm not sure why, to be honest. All yeah. over the world. Not yeah, it's just, not yeah. just uh, here. It's, yeah. like it's happening globally. Yeah. It's happening right. globally. Well, why, why do you think that is? Uh, it's because uh, we're increasing in numbers. So it, they, they feel like that uh, we are a threat to them because when we increase by numbers, it shows that the, there is something that's going right with us and there is something that's wrong with them. Because when they're being the minority instead of us, this just shows that there is something wrong with their mindset, right, right. you know? Okay, so as you can see, the, the cars have kind of dispersed, but it's not because the people have left. There's actually a, a new group of, I think the other side have come to this side and made a circle around us. And this is getting a bit nuts. So now the police are chasing them away. And it's not about... Police are coming. Look, they've, cut, they've walked over to this side. Maybe it's a retaliation of everything that's been happening. But yeah, I mean, why are they here? Why are they here with balaclavas? I have no idea. I have no idea why they're here. Oh, okay. I thought I'd press the button or something. I didn't know what was going on. Guys, 
why was this person who I believe was associated with Stand Up to Racism handing out legal support to free Palestine protesters at peaceful protests in Nottingham? This raises right. questions about why both groups were present in the first place and the integrity of Stand Up to Racism's protest. Soon after, groups of people crossed over to the so-called far right side, leading to clashes between both groups. Come on! I mean, there's a guy in a wheelchair here. And we're literally- Bro, you gotta chill. You ain't got no legs. You, what did you, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. I know you standing up for your rights, but Chill. Uh, that's not funny. Stop it. I mean, there's a guy in a wheelchair here. And we're literally next to a kid's fairground. I don't think you guys understand. We're next to a kid's fairground. This is ridiculous. It's a Saturday afternoon in the high street. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. Whoa. Hey, mate, allow it, man. Wait, if you, mate, it's not first. I'm the first time. For Wes, did you just. <laughs> Did you just knock his hat off? Stop. Wait, what's happening? This, 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 I made a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on for me right now. Hold on. Okay. I, I could possibly be going to hell at it. All right. <clears throat> Dear Lord, forgive me for my behavior. I, I don't, I'm, I don't know any better. I don't think you guys understand. We're next to a kid's fairground. This is ridiculous. It's a Saturday afternoon in the high street. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Oh, okay. Whoa. Hey, mate, allow it, man. Wait, if you, mate, it's not first. I'm gonna first up back in it. West, stand on business. Wait, it's loud. Wait, you stood there. You stood there. You stood there. It's all cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is getting ridiculous. Like I'm... Like I've said about this whole video, it, the protest is a bit stupid now. I mean, what's the point in all of this? This gets a bit ridiculous. I mean, look at that. There's kids on a fairground, and we're literally in the middle of a high street. Oh my god, what is the world come to? And I don't think either side are to blame. I think these people should be going to the government as impartial I'm trying, as I'm trying to be in these videos. Seeing stuff like that is just a bit sickening, to be honest. And to be fair, fair enough to the police. The police are a lot better. I ain't even gonna lie, man. If you're from Chicago, if anybody from Chicago is watching this video, you know what this reminds me of? Like 10 years ago, Puerto Rican Day Parade. When the black people used to come to the Puerto Rican Day Parade, oh my God. This is what it reminded me. Oh, it was way worse than this. Oh, there was real life fights. It, it, it ain't, it ain't, there's, now, let me, the aesthetics of it remind me of it, not the cause the aesthetic of it <laughs> than what I saw in London big words they're kind of just standing their ground they have protected the people big words TLO dictionary here to some extent I mean if they saw that there was a threat they're not using their batons and whacking someone in their in their battle gear like we saw in London they've kind of notified the barriers and where to block off certain areas but ah they took my advice look Look, hold on, wait. Notified the barriers and where to block off. There's are the workers. There is it. There is the little place. Close it down. Might as well cut it out. Certain areas, but Ain't nobody yeah, buying no I, candy. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of done with it all in a way. I feel like if change is going to happen, it needs to be done elsewhere, not in our city centres. And it's just about to kick off. There's a fight. There's a fight. There's a fight. Sorry. There's a fight. The police are chasing them. Someone just threw someone in the head. For somebody like me, it's hard to see this happening in the UK, bro. I've never associated the UK with this type of behavior, and it's really hard for me to see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't condone none of this bullshit. I don't condone it. I condone a lot of. I, I don't condone a lot of stuff, but I, I I understand a lot of stuff, 
But this right here, like, I, like at one point, I wanted to move here and raise a child here. Like, it's like, like I thought I'd find my wife here. Like, like y'all, y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill. This is what I like. This ain't it. What I don't even do. Like, this is not it. This is not it. And I know what did y'all fighting both sides feel like they fighting for a just cause and and everybody but it's like another it's not it's not it's not a good look it's not a good look you know what I'm saying I got real love for the UK I got real love for the UK and it honestly pains me to see the, the state of it you know what I'm saying I'm coming here I watch this I try to lighten the mood but at the end of the day, this should this is not cool. Off our streets, brother. Come on now, don't do that. Don't do that. And then the same people that probably be chanting this be like, "Oh no, TLO, you good? No, I'm not. Not good. Not good." I mean, look, look on the left, there's so many bystanders just here. We're literally in the middle of public. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And people are walking away and they've got someone to actually talk to, uh, talk to the other group, which is nice, you know. They're not using the batons and attacking the public. It's the train station to the guard. I don't really see the point in this now. Look at these guys coming in Balaclavas. I know there's people here covering their faces, which is which we saw, but honestly, there's people that just come to these things for trouble on both sides. What is this all about? There's actually like 10 of them. They've arrested a man. I don't know what he's done. They've arrested someone. Yeah. Got a good Glaswegian case, I have. Your nose will be in off me. To be honest, the police have remained calm. My view on the police has changed a lot since the other day, but at least they're not whacking people and just arresting people at their will. I think they're actually doing a pretty good job. I know the public perception of the police isn't good, but at least they're, they're keeping the calm for now. Guys, I said it like 10 times already, but we are in literally a city centre. There's kids on little playground coming off a little ride and there's people throwing bottles. I don't think you guys actually understand where we are. I mean, it's actually ridiculous. Just been thrown. The police doing this kettling tactic, but at least we have somewhere to go. We can go back. It wasn't like a London one pushed against a wall. He's been taken off. He's been taken off. The thing with this, though, if the people really wanted to attack people, you can literally go down this road and take a right, and it all leads into one. This was really different to when I was in London because we were just on one straight road. But here, the police have got a bit of a different job to do because people can come from all different corners. You can even come from the left-hand side here and make their way around. So, yeah, no, no one is really safe at the minute. And as I said that, someone's getting arrested. I don't know, the police are dragging him down. Who's that? Who's that? One, two, three people. They're arresting. They're arresting people. Don't know what that was for. Oh, an egg was just thrown at an officer. Oh, an egg was just thrown at an officer. I see a white man being arrested. He, he just punched him. He's punching 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 him. 
Another one's being ripped to the ground. They're grabbing him, another edge is Oh shit, mate, chill out, we're not being that aggressive. This man's don't let your adrenaline get the better of Mate, we're just standing here, don't hit us. Don't let your adrenaline get the better of you. This officer's got his uh, baton out. He's ready to, to hit us with a baton. I don't know why. So maybe repeat of London. But as you can see, I'm recording it all, being peaceful. I'm, I'm, I'm having to look over my shoulder every two seconds. There's uh, stuff's going on down there. But there's literally three people being arrested right now. We've got a, a white woman there, a white man there, and a young lad. The pepper sprayed his eyes, I think. <sighs> this dude right here, let's all be honest, he had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> I, we seen the footage. Brody had it coming. I think Wesley was like on like paying attention to other stuff, but he had it coming. Be real. Buddy had it coming. He was talking way too greasy for way too long. This woman's lost her shoe. I don't know about nobody else. But him for sure. Man. The young boy's been arrested. But yeah, there's still crowds on the other side. If you can see that. I want some to come down. It sounds like the police want more backup. Yeah, I don't know. This is what happened last time. It all just kicks off, but... This time it's both sides antagonizing each other. It's not really us against the police. It's kind of like the Palestinian protesters against the guys who are calling for their country back, as they say. It's really intense, but it won't hurt you. It won't damage your eyes. Out the way! Out the way! Yeah. Not yet, mate. The bottle of piss. I've had an egg. Who's doing all the throwing, though? It's been going everywhere. I've been um, seeing it flying well, left, right, and centre. From that side, and they come round, um, and they started attacking. They were trying to attack people from behind. So. Yeah, buddy. Like at a certain point, it just turns into to a bunch of nonsense. I'm not entertained by it. It's not for my entertainment. People are really thinking they fighting, but when you got out here and you get to getting drunk and you off class A's and you talking like this, like brother, God, damn, bro is live streaming this. He not playing. This YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Patreon, he on every platform possible. I've said this about ten times now, but this is what the media is going to show at the end of the day. This, this is, is it. This yeah, is the protest. This is know? it. Yeah, yeah. And it's wrong, isn't it? It's really wrong. Yeah. What, because what? that's what, what they're here for, is it? Enough is enough. It's for the children. To, exactly, and to be fair, like I'd say there's idiots on both sides who end it up is. causing trouble. There's pe I mean, you talk about balaclavas, I saw balaclavas on both sides, I saw yeah. them going on both yeah, sides. a lot of young lads and a lot of young girls. Yeah. People just come up for just a little tear-up and they've got nothing better to do, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I think it's going to go again. So I'm just going to move back. Yeah. I want y'all to be real. Okay, I'm a part of... I'm a... Mainstream media will hit regular citizens up for their, for their videos. And they'll pay them. They've done it to me. They like, on all my TikTok videos, they hit me up. Oh, 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 this, this, let me pay you for it and put it on a... Yes, they do that. Dude, where do you think they're getting all of it? You think they're out in numbers grabbing footage? No, they're grabbing it from... Anybody who posted, they hit them up. They'd be like, oh, yeah, we could put this money into your account. So let's not pretend that motherfucker, that regular <laughs> citizens are not out here giving this type of footage as well. They get on these cameras and they're like, oh, no, we're not doing, man, this is messed up. This is messed up. But y'all don't want selling the footage. That money hit different when, you, when, you, when, it's, when, it's, when it's going in your pocket. Cut it out, man. Not Wesley. I'm talking about... And I don't even know. It, it could be this dude. I, I don't know. I'm just... This is an example. Do you see any 
do you see Channel 4 out here? Do you see BBC? No. These are regular citizens with, with, with rigs like this out here. Talking about some mainstream media doing this, this, and that. Yes, they are doing this. But you are who they are buying the footage from. Stop pretending like you're not. Jesus. That should just rub me the wrong way. Like, I just had to, like, there's, like, cut it out. I don't know if a lot of y'all know that, but, yeah, they hit you up. They hit you up when they see some diabolical stuff that they want. Like, can we buy this from you? Absolutely. For how much? Absolutely. Come on. So I'm just going to make my... What you think, buddy? Got six cameras on a on 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 a on a on a on a whatever that is for his own personal footage? No, he's selling it to mainstream media. Like, come on now. Open their eyes. Let me just give you the geography of where we actually are. So you look, this was absolutely filled earlier with people and now there's no police officers. Fair enough for this man, he's actually stood there and just stood and flew his flag doing a peaceful process, which what it was for. But obviously some people from that side have actually come over and come over here, which is a good five minute walk around the high street because the police blocked off all the little entrances. And I think yeah, they they're boxing y'all in again. Huh? I know there's a few issues of throwing stuff, you know, petty, petty things, which is going to happen. You know, there's young people here, all sorts of people here looking for trouble. But Facts, paparazzi is nothing new, but guess who's the paparazzi now? Everybody. Things have now got violent and people got arrested. And just look at it. That just says it all, isn't it? Look at this man flying the Union Jack and the England flag. And someone said earlier, why can't they just come and hug each other? I mean, that is just, that just says it all. Amir, what's, what's made you stand here and not join in all the, the mischief that's been going on? Because I'll stand for this country. What on, fishing rods? Whatever's going on behind me means nothing. I'm fighting for the future of my grandchildren and their grandchildren. I'll stand here on my own. I ain't scared of anyone. And I'll stand here. I couldn't care less. But do you think it really is us against them? Well, no, it's, it's not us against them. It's that there's not just one organisation standing there. There's multiple. They're ganging up together when they don't even believe in each other's ideology. It's silly because the only reason why I'm here is to show these flags and my represent for the children that died and to, to, to protect our children. I'm not here for, for violence or anything else. I'm only here for them. And I think people need to understand what's going on. And letting more people into this country is not going to work. We need to stop it, mate. It needs to stop now. I'm, I'll stand here until... I'll stand here, but you gotta understand with that flag when you fly it to when you fly that flag and people see it on TV, you gotta understand what that represents. That represents just like the American flag, a beacon of hope for countries that are are who will never see this type of who will never see the type of advancements the type of opportunity that y'all that y that y'all got so the goal is the goal is the goal is this up there the goal is a american flag that's the goal an australian flag that's the goal when you are in a war torn country this is the goal now, now i understand like yes get there through the proper channels but some of this stuff be dire. I understand that some people are doing it the wrong way. Yes. Be mad about that. But whatever dude was just talking about, like, shut up. <laughs> just pissed me off, too. Stand here until. I'll stand here, bro. Stand there quietly. Yeah. My bad, man. I just got real opinion. My fault. <laughs> Or what? He actually did it. Oh, this is not ending. People are just throwing, throwing stuff back and forth, bottles and 
There's a Lucas A bottle with someone through. It's plastic. Yeah, two different thing. groups. Oh, some bottle just hit a woman. Fucking hell. Oh my god, give me a soaked. This is getting silly, but literally in the middle. I'll say it again, we're in the middle of a high street. More enforcement's coming in. Whoa! Keep in mind, these are all children. This is a bunch of children. Like, these are high schoolers. For fuck's sake. They're throwing bottles at our own people at the minute. What's this lad doing? Who's he think he is? Honestly, literally just like a minority of people. Someone threw a slipper. Who threw a slipper? Bottle. More bottles. Bottle being thrown again. Eggs are getting pelted. At this point, it looked like a water balloon fight. Uh, this is. Honestly, there's literally a minority. So many people came to this actual protest today. There's just there's just few people that just ruin it and want to cause trouble. I honestly think people have nothing better to do because it's a, it's a weekend, so people have just come to the high street just to cause trouble. They don't have to go home, really, if they... Oh, this is a weekend too? Oh, definitely. They don't want to. Look at that, guys. The police are... Arguing or fighting with some of those guys, clearly quite aggressive. Yeah, definitely, mate. I think at least like there's places to go when we're actually, you know, we can't call this cordon people in this time. And they're facing both sides, separating both sets of people. So as far yeah, as they go so far, yeah, you gotta have respect for the police. Yeah, this, yeah, they say police it today. I mean, they're not getting. I saw one guy get his baton out, but he didn't use it, so. Right. You know, this is how it's done. I think the Metropolitan Police should take some notes, to be honest. Oh, 100%, mate. That was a disgrace Wednesday night. They had a disgrace to this country, a disgrace to the police force, a yeah. disgrace to calling themselves a service. Yeah, big up Nottingham. <laughs> Someone's getting arrested. Oh, a woman's getting arrested. Definitely it wasn't him. Wow, it all started from that woman who got, I think, pushed by one of the police officers or something, and then everyone kind of jumped in. But yeah, tensions are running high. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what this is about anymore. I'm not even joking. It's not about anything at this point. People are just here causing a ruckus. Chat four, appreciate the follow. Stay back, love. Don't touch. Don't need to touch you. Stay Don't back. Touch. <laughs> what the fuck going on? Hey! Buddy built like I am Davis. Why does why this man got this much hip? That's crazy. Hold on. Let me get out the way. Let me. You know what? It's not even about that. Nevertheless, I will show it. Stay back, love. Don't touch. Don't need to touch you. Stay back. But I do not like this at all. Why is that? Well, because they come in our country and they, they think they can. Everything on the golden platter. In it. They think as soon as they come in, they earn the dollar, they earn the money, and then they get these higher, high-end cars and all that. No, 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 they don't. How it works is I, I basically built myself from the ground up. 
I've got all life's luxuries, all I wanted. Yeah, I've not got a car. I've not got a house. Yeah. Are, are they to blame? Uh, what are you? Huh? Are they to blame for it or? Yeah, of course they are. They're taking all our tax. All what we pay. All those British. Do you have GSEs? What's going on? People. I need water. That's why we're all skin. Both of us. Hi right, guys. I think that. So you're skint. Because if you're skint, is because of your own mishaps, your own missteps, your own misjudgments. That's why you're skint. No, nobody else can make you skint. Uh, the crowds are dispersing now, so most people. That was the second worst interview I've ever seen. Know, man, I don't really know what well, half the stuff was about. There's people who obviously just come here to cause trouble. There were people who really had a genuine message and that was to protect our children. You know, the illegal migrants that are coming in, they voice that opinion, but... Oh no, someone literally is about to get... Document it. Literally, someone's getting arrested as soon as I'm doing the outro. Jesus Christ, I thought it was all done. So all the Palestinian guys, or I don't know where they're from, but that's what they're flying the flag came round. This guy just literally got arrested. Of course he did. He was talking a lot of nonsense. I don't know why he's getting arrested. I was literally just about to go home and end the video there, guys, and this has just happened. This is never going to end. But look at the police. They're not using their batons. They're standing their ground, keeping the peace. And that's what it's all about. This is how you police the public. Not what we saw in London the other day, guys. And they're dragging me out and getting arrested. This guy's got his bike taken. But yeah, honestly, guys, I've pretty much had enough of today. I mean, the message hasn't really been sent from either side. And yeah, it's probably the last time I'm going to do this kind of protest unless there's an actual organized march. Because when you have a protest and they... Ah, no, 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 Wes. <laughs> Continue to do this tight. Do them all. Counteract one another. The message just gets lost. And that's what we saw today, despite how many people we, we, we spoke to. And this protest was literally next to fairground, which is unbelievable. There, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace. This was an hour and four minute vlog. We somehow managed to turn it into an hour and 43 minutes. Uh, it is what it is. TLO, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.